Live from the spectacular Star Gold Coast Resort, welcome to the 62nd TV Week Logie Awards. After nearly three years, we're back, and you've got a front row seat for all the glitz and glamour of Australian television's Night of Nights. And now, to get the ultimate party started, please welcome your first presenter. Surprise! It's Gold Logie nominee, Julia Morris. This is the very first Logie from Lego Masters. Accepting the award tonight, Brickman Ryan McNaught and Gold Logie nominee, Hamish Blake. It's requested that I not refer to him as Blakey. And now, from Nine's new drama after the verdict, Lincoln News, and from the greatest shonky car salesman movie of all time, The Big Steel, it's Claudia Carver. Home and Away. <laughs> Home and Away has now won 12 Logies. It was inducted into the Hall of Fame in 2015, and I can't even begin to count how many individual Logies its cast members have won, because I am enumerate. Accepting this award tonight, James Stewart, no, not that one, and the cast. Off you shoot. And now, please welcome Gold Logie nominee, Carl Stefanovic, and from Melbourne's best radio show, Chrissy Swan. Although they were nominated in 2018 and 2019, this is the very first Logie for the bluntly titled Travel Guides. Tonight, the award will be accepted by the show's cast. That's them. Obviously, should have prepared some more for this bit. It's travel guides. You think they'd have mastered travelling by now? Tonight, live on the TV Week Loki Awards, Tim Minchin, Magda Shemansky, Emma Watkins, Tony Armstrong, Sophie Monk and Osher Ginsberg. What a ludicrous supergroup. We honour the latest inductee into the TV Week Hall of Fame. Musical performances from international pop sensation Callum Scott, plus homegrown superstars Jessica Malboy and Jimmy Barnes. That's him. Plus, up next, Hamish and Andy, Amanda Keller, Peter Dutton, sorry, that's a typo, and Australian of the Year, Dylan Alcott. Yes, it's all coming up on the Logies. Welcome back to the Logies. They've been called the Hamish and Andy of TV. It's Hamish and Andy. This is the show's eighth nomination for most popular reality show and its fourth win. You might be wondering, haven't they cooked everything by now? But no, tonight's award will be accepted by John Sonfrillo, Andy Allen and Gold Logie nominee, Melissa Leon. And now, please welcome Australian of the Year, Dylan Alcott and the pride of Burrum Buttock, Tony Armstrong. The Seven Network's 17-day coverage of the Olympic Games was watched by over 20 million people across two channels. Naturally, the 2020 Olympics and Paralympics took place in 2021. Accepting the Logie tonight, commentators Daisy Pearce and Brian Taylor. Several other people by the looks. And now, please welcome someone who lived to see her futuristic show Beyond 2000 become quaintly retro. It's Amanda Keller. This is the sixth Logie for the Working Dog production that takes an irreverent look at the week's news and often features mystifying references to 1930s film stars by one of its guests. Here's Tom Gleisner, Ed Cavalier and Sam Pang. Congratulations, team. I told you I could swing it. And thanks, Amanda. Although you didn't mention the classic Channel 9 comedy, The Bob Morrison Show. 
with talking dog Bob Morrison, or Bobo, as he insisted on being called. This is the Logies, live from the Star Gold Coast Entertainment Precinct. Welcome back. Yes, welcome back to the 62nd Logie Awards. Please welcome birthday boy and my real dad, Richard Wilkins. Oh, thank you very much. Tony Martin, ladies and gentlemen, working very hard for us tonight behind the scenes. Earlier this evening, the Logie for most popular actor or actress in an international program was won by Jackie Weaver for her performance as Caroline Warner in Yellowstone. Jackie couldn't be with us tonight, but she sent this message. I can assure you it's all about board in the toilets. Now, please welcome to present the Logie for most outstanding reality program, Ali Langdon and honorary wiggle, Sam Mack. I'm a celebrity was nominated in the most popular category for four consecutive years, from 2016 to 2019. Tonight, they're winners, and no one had to eat any scorpions. Accepting the award on behalf of the show, show's hosts, Julia Morris and Chris Brown. Still to come, some very special tributes to some of the biggest names in the industry. We induct the latest member into the Logies Hall of Fame, and who'll take home the gold? The countdown is on. This is television's Night of Nights, live from the Gold Coast where the stars come out to play. Fun, sophistication, and gold Loki rivals setting aside their differences to enjoy the nightlife with nothing but good feelings towards their fellow nominees. So here's cheers. You're all winners. Even that one you promised to collect from the hotel. But who cares? They're having too good a time, Queensland style. I mean, yeah, check out these moves. Sonia's impressed, and surely Mel can get an Uber or something. She'll be fine. This is the night. This is the Gold Coast. What do you reckon, Ray? This is the TV Week Logie Awards, live from the Gold Coast. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Patty Newton. This is the second time Hamish has won the first. The first time was nine years ago, 2013. A much simpler time. <laughs> to present the Logie for most popular actress, please welcome Man as Hell's Tamara Happenstance, Chrissy Wheeler Brown, and currently appearing in 9 to 5, the musical Eddie Perfect. <laughs> this is Kitty's very first Logie win from her first Logie nomination. She's been a familiar face on our screen for years, although I don't think that is her face. Not sure what's going on here. Kitty's currently writing and starring in Fisk 2. Thank you, Sam Pang, Australia's most popular actress. And now, please welcome Abby Jelby and Jeremy Fernandez. This is the fourth win for the popular show, which already boasts two Gold Logie winners, Harry Bickmore and Wally Darley, and over seven million angry tweets. Accepting the Logie tonight, Peter Hellier, Lisa Wilkinson, Georgie Tani, and Wally Darley. You're watching the TV Week Logie Awards, coming to you live from the Gold Coast, home of ugly Dave Gray. Hi, Dave. Here's two people who have done hard time at Lassiter's, Natalie Bassingthwaite and Daniel McPherson. Congratulations, Tony, who you may have seen on ABC News or ABC's Offsiders or ABC's News Breakfast or ABC's The Weekly or Network 10's The Project or ABC's A Dog's World or walking up to the stage right now. And now, here's Sophie Monk and beloved Logie's favourite, Tom Gleeson. <laughs> and now, please welcome Miss Granny Smith Apples 2009, Emma Watkins, and out and proud Hoovian, Rove McManus. <laughs> this 
This is the second Logie for Bluey. Also has three actor awards, two Screen Producer Australia awards, an ARIA award, an international Emmy. Far too many things for me to read out here tonight, excepting the award creator Joe Brum, executive producer Daley Pearson, and the team from Ludo Studio. Congratulations, team. Incidentally, the original 1976 Bluey with Lucky Grills as the portly detective was the winner of only one Logie for most pies. You're watching the Logies, live from the Star Gold Coast Entertainment Precinct. Welcome back. Four premierships as a player, another four as coach. The inaugural Australian Football Hall of Fame legend, Lethal Lee Matthews. Welcome back to the Logies, and now please welcome former Spice Girl, now Spice Woman, Mel B. And make it look like a penis. No, what the f... Dear Media Watch, someone just said penis on the Logies. Here's Chris Brown and gold nominee, Melissa Leon. This is Gogglebox's third Logie for most popular entertainment program but also won two for most popular factual program. I like the episode where they watched Celebrity Gogglebox. Accepting the Logie, Lifestyle General Manager, Wendy Moore. And Executive Producer David McDonald. Still to come, Jessica Malboy takes centre stage. Tim Minchin, Leah Purcell and Wally Daly join us to honour the most outstanding programs and performers in the industry. And who's going to take home that gold? Whew, how's it sounding, Pete? It could be better, Tony. Give me an example of the classic house style. Next on Nine, Celebrity Hole in the Wall. Pete, you know that show was banned after what Richard Wilkins did. There was not enough pixelation. Welcome back to the TV Week Logie Awards and please welcome from Nine's new drama after the verdict, my former lover from Kath and Kim, Magda Shabetsky. Indeed. This is the first Logie for Fires this evening, but two of its stars, Richard Roxburgh and Miranda Otto, are nominated later tonight. They can't be with us due to an acting emergency, but accepting the award, uh, writer Belinda Chaco, I hope that's Chaco, and executive producers Tony Ayres and Andrea Denham. Welcome back, and now here's Natalie Abbott from Aftertaste and Ada Nicodemu from The Matrix, the good one. From Billions, Daredevil and Underbelly, it's Toby Leonard Moore. And from Fargo, the Lincoln Lawyer. And Recovery, it's Angus Sampson. This is Heather's first ever Logie in an incredible career, boasting over a hundred credits. Things like Muriel's Wedding, The Great Gatsby, A Place to Call Home, Upright. And of course, to Kath and Kim Cone. Live from the Star Gold Coast Entertainment Precinct, it's still the Logies. We're getting ever closer to the gold. Who's it going to be? And will they say something entirely inappropriate? Stay tuned to find out. Oh, there you are. And now, please welcome to the Logies stage two of Australia's most mispronounced journalists, Kumi Taguchi and Walid Ali. This is the ninth Logie for SBS in this category. The first for MITV, National Indigenous Television. Accepting this award tonight, the program's director, Dean Gibson, and producer, Helen Morrison. Helmo. And now, please welcome Sarah Arbo and David Spears. Note, don't say anything stupid here. Oh, sorry. has racked up an impressive nine Logies in the years since I stopped appearing on it. This is the very first time the program has taken home the award in this particular category. To accept it, executive producer Chris Bendel and Lisa Wilkinson. 
still to come. We honour the most outstanding actor, actress and drama series. Jess Malboy rocks the house and we'll find out just who will be this year's Gold Logie winner. Panache, sophistication, savoir-faire, elegance and refinement. These Gold Logie contenders have it all on the Gold Coast, Australia's favourite playground where camaraderie fills the air, style and dignity, with no one left behind. The party's just getting started. Mmm, that's good stuff. Good friends cheering each other on, Queensland style. So remember, keep your eyes on the prize and the taste of victory will be even sweeter. Oh no. I think Carl's going to start dancing again. This is the TV Week Logie Awards, live from the Gold Coast. Welcome back. And now from The Masked Singer and the upcoming dating and cooking show, The Bachelor Wants a Spatula, it's Osher Ginsberg. Thank you, Tony Martin. And, and now, please welcome from Wentworth, Kate Atkinson, and from Dr. Doctor, it's Dr. Doctor's Roger Corsa. This is the 62nd Logie Awards. Almost time for the 63rd Logie Awards. Welcome back to the Logies. Please welcome Leo Purcell and soon to be seen in the Foxtel original, Upright 2, Electric Boogaloo, Tim Minchin. This is the newsreader's second outstanding Logie tonight after Anna Torf took out most outstanding actress. Here to accept it, producer Joanna Werner and Michael Lucas, already working on season two. Newsreader versus Predator. Oh. The wait is almost over. Who will be crowned the most popular personality on Australian TV for 2022? Up next, we announce the winner of the coveted Gold Logie. At last, to present the Gold Logie, please welcome Dave Hughes. Hey, the voice of the Logie is Mr. Tony Martin. We love Tony. Well done, sir. Lovely hearing that fuck TV accent coming out over the uh, the big speakers here. Well, there's another one. Oh, let's hit the after party, Stoner. Yet yeah, Ray Mars leading the charge to spearmint rhino. Oh, no can do. I've been banned. Really? Yeah, my dancing was far too provocative.